Okay, welcome back. In this clip, we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping um, before we do anything about getting students in and putting some resources on. So, some of you may decide that the default image that comes up here is not suitable for the classroom that you have because I know some of you will be teaching art, some of you photography, uh, geography, maths, history, you know, any number of things. So, um, dead easy, you can either upload or select a theme. So, now when you click on select a theme, you um, get a number of different examples now most of these might be enough to keep you happy so you just pick something from here and it does um, change the uh, outlook and the theme of everything so if you're a PE teacher and you want to teach PE from home you could just you know simply click on one of these and just click uh, select a class theme and you'll notice that the theme of the whole page including the colors all change okay um, and as I said, you can just go through this all, and there's some general IT ones and whatever. Now, if you're not happy with what's on there, you can click on upload an image, but the, what you'll have to do is find an image first, save it into your computer, and then put it on there. Now, if you're a geek like I am, then that's what you would do. So I'm just gonna show, I'm just gonna show you very quickly how to do that. So you go online, you search for an image, and obviously in this case, um, I'm gonna choose Google Classroom Training, and I found uh, a suitable picture here. I'm gonna go to that web page. And then I right click on the image, save the image as, put it into the folder that you want it. And then once it's done, you can come back over here, upload photo, and uh, you can just select or drag it in to here. So I'm just gonna go in here, hopefully find my pictures from over here. And it is somewhere, somewhere in here. There it is, classroom open. I'm gonna give it a second. And oh, it says too small, so you have to be careful with what image you choose. Um, it says 800 pixels by 200, so I'm gonna be a, uh, actually one second. Do is there a good one here? Let's have a look. This one might be okay. Just gonna click on that. No, it probably isn't to be honest. Uh, right, as I said, I'm a geek and I've got OCD, so I'm gonna do a, a little bit more searching here. Um, and what I'll do is come back and show you the end results in just a second. Okay, so basically, uh, I thought I would show you after, but then I thought to myself, no, actually, I'm going to show you how to do it in case you are like me and you want to get a picture. So what I did is I went to settings, I went to um, advanced search, and I went here to size and chose 800 by 600. Um, and then click search and then what that does is it shows all images related to whatever uh, keyword or words you've typed in here uh, that is uh, within or after that uh, size so I'm just going to keep it simple and go for this one here I say simple but I'm being extra here I do apologize um, and I'm just going to choose that one there so go to the website And maybe I can find it, maybe I can't. I may have to just copy and paste it from that page there. So let's try that. Let's copy, save, image as. So that's how you do it. Find it, a folder that you want to put it into. So I'm going to put down Google Classroom CPD. Save. Give it a second. All right, while it's doing that, I'm going to go. You can see it's saved it now. Go back here choose and find that image google classroom not that one there it is hopefully works this time fantastic right so i'm just going to choose that area there and then select and it should hopefully change everything out there you go perfect okay so um so you choose what you want and then oh, the next thing, that's right, yeah. So that's the theme. Um, you have to then think about how you want your students to feed back to you. Um, now, by default, I don't know why they have this and I don't like it, so I always uh, take this off. You go up here to the little cog, which is the settings icon. And then basically, by default, and this is also a good play, a moment to explain that you can actually change the name and all the details that you're putting in the first video uh, to set up the classroom here. Um, the class code can be changed here as well, but I'm going to leave that for a second here. 
by default, it allows students to post and comment on your page. Now, it's a huge nuisance where people, just students put random things and they're making comments and it just clogs up the page. So I always put teachers can only post a comment. And if they need to speak to me, they can message me directly through the work itself, which I'll show you in a different video. So here, just to keep the page clean, I always ban them. I block it out completely so they can't do anything. It just saves you a lot of time. So just my advice is do that. Um, and that's basically it. Press save. And that is the main two things I would do before you start up. Okay, so ch choose a theme. I, I'm i probably going to change my mind here because I don't like how dark it's gone here for some reason. But you choose a theme that you want and you ban, block the, uh, the students from uh, being able to comment on your page.